Hi there, welcome back. This is the second part of the two-part trip to Avondale Goodwill. We are continuing in the clear and white section. This was a really pretty teapot, but unfortunately it was missing its lid. I really like the scene on that. You usually don't see the, that scene. It's usually the pond scene or the lake scene. So unfortunately I had to leave that there because it was missing its lid. These two little matching bunny rabbits. I forget if those were glass or plastic. And then this was a unicorn that had lost its horn. So now it was a horse. I thought this bunny was kind of neat. I like how the basket was green, but the rest of it was kind of browns and whites or creams. I thought this looked like Fitz and Floyd, but it was not marked. It might have been under the price tag. So even though I thought that was super cute and she had both of her ears, I did leave that there. Probably because it's fall and if it was springtime, I probably would have snatched that up. I felt this was missing something like it continued on. If it, there was another piece that went against that flat part. Maybe not. I could be wrong. Here's a little hobbyist piece of a bunny rabbit. They have a small Easter section that's up year round. And then someone had dug into this bag of ornaments and um, this one I thought was cute, but I didn't really want to buy the whole bag just for that. So I left that there. And then these were stone critters. They were unicorns. And unfortunately, they were pretty chipped up. Stone critters as a brand in itself is very chippy, but this was in a bag. So this newspaper was from 1982. <laughs> Raise your hand if you were alive in 1982. <laughs> And I thought this was a really cool piece. I kind of think that it was a hobbyist piece. It felt brand new. It was squeaky clean. So either someone kept it really, really clean or never used it. And this I felt was a Peggy Carr glass, but I cannot find the signature. And sometimes Peggy Carr plates and bowls are hard. They're hard to find the signature. And then once you find it, it's like, oh, there it is. I like that these things are back and I was just thinking the other day we haven't seen these in a while and here they are it's back for $1.99 Max this is a stuffed animal kind of day at the Goodwill hmm? it's a stuffed animal doggy day at the Goodwill mm -hmm. Ooh, here's some art with an owl in it pig. look at that that is a piece of artwork there world Aww, it's like like Wilbur, a Kelly toy original. Oh, that's a Care Bear. Oh, that, that's gross. That's cute. <laughs> that's a Care Bear. Oh, he is a weirdo Care Bear. It feels weird. I'm not. I never it's seen that before. This is cute. I looked at this pink glass hobnail ish. Maybe it was somebody, but to me, it I didn't think it was. <laughs> so either you're like a green or yelling at me. I'm sorry. I did like this Ikebana vase. Uh, turns out this was made in China. I like the color of it. I like the shape of it. I have sold this style of pitcher before. I actually got the pitcher here at this Goodwill for 99 cents. This one was $1.99 and then each of the cups were also $1.99, which I thought was kind of high. I know I'm thrifty, but I like that it was a complete set, but I just, I didn't feel I didn't feel it. So we did find this cute little blue cow creamer that turned out it was a souvenir from Tennessee. And I liked that plate there. And then this was a flower frog. I thought that plate was pretty. I like that color blue, but there was just one. So I left that there and also the flower frog. This was a very pretty dish. I'm not sure why I didn't pick it up. I don't know. Sometimes you look back and you're like, oh, should have gotten that. <laughs> I like that dish, that bowl. Kind of had a little bohemian vibe going. This was a Hager planter, but it had a chip on the bottom of it. And um, I have planters in my store already. So even though I did like that, I did leave that there. And these I felt were just decorative pieces and so I left those there 
These are where all the mugs were last time we here, remember? No. So we'll make that. Here, hold that. Let's see what the bottom is. I'm still filming. Don't we'll be too shaky. Let's see. Who, who made it? Oh, it's right this way. I cut it out. Deborah Swinger. Those were very pretty. I think there were two of them. And now we're continuing on the blue section. This was a record. And apparently it was the best day ever. <laughs> it was a fun day. That teapot needed to have a wicker handle. That was a pretty color. And this was a clear glass bowl with glass balls in it. And you could buy the whole thing for $7. And this was a fancy candle in the shape of a teapot. Makes me think this was part of the person's collection who donated all the other teapots that we saw at this trip. And here were some bunny rabbits. This one was standing on its head. And then the other two rabbits were having nothing to do with that. They were trying to get away from him. <laughs> or so I thought. I investigated a little bit and then I decided to leave those there. And then I wasn't sure what these were because it had a cap on it. And I thought, are these tiny fairy lights? But I felt like the thing that was taped inside didn't have a hole. And usually fairy lights have a hole in the top. I don't know what this is. So if you know what they are, please tell me. I didn't know what they were. Now we're checking out the end caps here. That had a sticker underneath the price tag, so I knew it was more contemporary. And then there was this nice set of cups and saucers and fruit bowls. Nice fall color. And then I thought that somebody made this tray, like they decoupaged the design on the inside of it. To me, it looked like a, a project. And then I showed you this because it was in the original box. And usually you don't see the china in the original box. So I liked how it said, looks, feels, and rings like china. Here was a Capa de Monte style candlestick holder. Unfortunately, it was very chipped. There was um, original price tag there that I'm pointing out to you. But then it had, like, the petals were chipped. It was a shame because it was very pretty. Here was some more artwork. It looked like someone had made an owl in a nightcap sitting next to a white bird on a tree out of Play-Doh, and then they had put it in a frame. And then here was a mug that is as old as Jenny from The View. <laughs> and these I have. I got mine at the Goodwill also. You put water in them and then you can water your plants with them. And then this was a bowl of Suavitz Polish pottery individual teapot. It had the peacock design around the top there, but I felt it was a little bit on the plain side. And I actually have some bowl of Suavitz teapots that I have tried to sell before and they didn't really sell very well for me. So I did leave that teapot there. It's a cute little food dog, but it was plastic. And they had some Christmas themed china there. And let's see what else do I find. They have the teapot, they have the whole thing. Oh, I was pointing this out to Jenny because she likes the yin yang symbol. So I was showing her that. And then we found another bat. bunch of these trays. <laughs> Keep getting bigger. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that one. Made in Japan. $2.99. So I found a set that the big tray and two other trays that fit into it. And I like the 80s look to it. And I like that it was made in Japan. So I did end up taking those trays. This was a really heavy red glass piece. And at the very, very end of our shopping trip, I found these. Can you guess who made these? I'm going to tell you in a second.
So this was in the box that I just showed you, and it was taped up, and I could barely read the name on the back of one of these, and then I discovered it was Fiesta Wear. This normally would have had a plate that goes, all of these would have sat on a plate, and the plate kind of shows probably an inch of color underneath it. Unfortunately, they did not have the large plate. They just had these divided dishes. There is a small chip here to this one. There is also a chip on here to this one. I mean, they are old. They are going to have some chips. I think that one is okay. And there is a chip to that one. Let's brighten this up a little bit so you can see. There's a little chip to that one. But I am glad I caught it when I did because it would have saved them getting more chipped up. So I was super excited to find this at the very last moment. Here are the rest of the items that I got on this trip to Avondale Goodwill. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a really great day and I'll see ya.